Hello, just wanted to make a quick video to say welcome to the team, Team Alive and Well. Um, we're so happy to have you joining us, and um, we hope that you're ready to buckle up and start um, this incredible journey with us. So um, I know that it's really overwhelming in the beginning. The first few days and weeks as a coach um, are kind of a whirlwind. And so I wanted to make this video for you to give you some action steps to get started on and to also let you know that it's totally normal to be overwhelmed um, at this stage. You're going to be learning a lot and also building your business at the same time. So just know that it's totally normal. I've been a coach just under a year and I'm I can I can remember those early days and feeling like how you know am I ever gonna get anything done I felt frozen and I just didn't really know what to do first so um, today I want to talk about that and just this new exciting time um, your notifications are likely going off like crazy which is something you have to kind of adjust to um, we will all remember those fond days of you know having five notifications and them all being for us but um, those days are gone uh, but just know that you will adjust and you will get used to this whole new platform on social media. So um, let's talk about uh, your new coach email. So you should have received your new coach email probably within 24 hours of signing up. And this is going to have a ton of information and direction for you to get started while you're waiting for your challenge pack. And um, you know, while you're trying to figure out what you should do first, this email is going to outline things for you to do on the back office, which you'll sign into, um, you know, 15 minutes or 30 minutes after you become a coach, it'll be available to you. And um, the first thing you're going to want to do when you log into your uh, coach online office, which the instructions will be in your new coach email. Um, but you'll want to get familiar with um, the news and training tab. There is a coach training academy. And if you start there, you're going to have a few hours of videos and things that um, will really just teach you the basics of this business while you're in this new period um, of figuring out what to do. It's going to give you the basics along with your coach, uh, with your new coach email. Those two things are going to give you plenty to do these next, these first few days. So um, then you're going to want to send your about me form that came with your new coach email to myself or your sponsor coach, and we'll get your getting started right call scheduled. So this will be a time when we can go over the questions that you're writing down now. Uh, we're going to talk about goals and dreaming big and really what your potential is in this business, defining our goals so that we can really align our actions with those and really just get to know each other. One of the best parts of this business is uh, the connections. So these getting started right calls aren't anything scary they're just a time for us to connect and get to know you a little bit better and work through some of the questions and concerns you might have as a new coach uh, you may have noticed that you were introduced or welcomed to our team page team alive and well um, that is going to be your home base now and for the future this is where all the coaches in my downline are and you might also be in another team group and that's totally okay um, but to keep things simple, we'll just talk about Team Alive and Well. Um, this is your team. It's not just my team. These are your peers. These are your friends. And this is your little fit family. This is a team page for us to ask questions, support each other, celebrate victories, big and small, um, come with concerns. Maybe you have a question about your mom asked you right away, you know, what program should she do with her bad back? Um, this is what we can utilize the team page for, is just coming together and working through struggles, questions, issues, and really just help um, each other reach our goal of helping as many people get healthy as we possibly can. So you'll also notice there's a file section in our team group or in our team page, and there is a wealth of knowledge here. Everything from, um, you know, cool incentives that we have going on, new challenge groups that are starting, there's templates on what to say about Shakeology, how to handle objections. There are a ton of resources there. And so as a new coach, I just spent, you know, five or 10 minutes a day in those file sections going after information and finding it, saving the document to my desktop so that I had it for the future. 
Um, but there's so much in there and that's been put together by all of the leaders on our team, things that they have found helpful and useful and systems they've created to make this easier on you. Um, so you have the energy to create new systems and share with our team. So definitely utilize the file section. Um, just spend a little time in there each day and um, just immerse yourself in the team group. This is a place to come when you're feeling happy or scared or whatever it is. Um, there's no judging. We're all on our journeys as coaches and people, and um, we have a really, really awesome team. So I want you to feel comfortable in there. I remember being a new coach and feeling like uh, that wasn't really my place to post or I didn't know if it was okay. And I want you to know that that is what that group is for. Immerse yourself in it. The connections you'll make in this business with other coaches are one of the richest things that will happen to you on this journey. So um, really take advantage of it and just dive, just dive in. So, um, you know, this is your business. You have all of these tools to utilize and to use to start your business and to get things going. Um, one of the first things you can do is go public. You uh, were welcome to the team and your coach or myself probably announced you publicly on our Facebook pages. And a great way to get the word out so that people know what you're doing is to use that photo and share it with your audience. Or if you've been um, a challenger before or you've had some results with Beachbody or you're saying, here I am in all my glory, um, starting this new health and fitness journey, I'm so excited for you to be a part of it. That was pretty much how I came out, came out because uh, I hadn't been in a challenge group before. And so that's totally okay. When my challenge pack came, I was determined to rock out some results in that first week so that I had something to talk about um, in terms of Beachbody, which is the next point I want to talk about, which is being a product of the product. Um, Sharing your journey with people from day one. I know it's scary to be a new coach, um, just like it's scary to be a new challenger. But we have to remember that people relate to that early, those early parts of our journey just as much as they relate to us reaching big goals. So I encourage you to um, find that strength in you to share where you're starting because people are going to start following you and connecting with you now. So... Um, let them know how excited you are to be held accountable on this new journey and that you can't wait to share it with them as well. Um, if you're scared to do that, chances are there's someone out there that needs to hear what you're going to share because they're scared too. So they're going to relate to you and it's going to change their life. So um, your capacity uh, to change lives starts today and it's a huge responsibility that I take really seriously and it's been scary to start to let go and be vulnerable but um, when I'm most vulnerable I find that I help the most people so I just want to really encourage you to start to let go in whatever ways that you can because you're going to help a lot of people when you do. So sharing your progress, coming out so people actually know to ask you about coaching because otherwise you can kind of float through these first few weeks being like, no one's talking to me about coaching. Um, excuse my weird dog. Um, start posting now, even if you're waiting for your, um, your products to come. It just is a great time to start warming your market to the idea of you being into health and fitness. I just started to post my meals and it was actually holding me accountable from day one. You know, I was making healthy meals and so that I had something to post about. So um, developing a list of five to seven things that you'd like to start posting about and using that list to literally go down and post about one or two each day so that you're posting a variety of content and um, you're just, you're getting, you know, you're getting warmed up to what your job is, which is posting often you know we're gonna aim for three to five times a day as a new coach my first week once a day kind of blew my mind so I worked on that and worked up to two to three times a day um, my five things just to give you an example fitness family uh, food obviously Personal development, I love to share what I'm doing for personal development because it encourages people to always better themselves and they think, this is your job? That's crazy. Um, and also, simple living is one of the things that I just like to show, whether it's thrift shopping or, uh, you know, plants, whatever it is. I just love to share that element of my life as well because we're, the brand, we're our brands and people want to see parts of our lives, not just the fitness stuff. So, um, 
be you and don't be afraid to be you. Don't try to be anybody else in this time. Um, we've got a girl on a team who, you know, wine is one of her things and her friends and family would know that if she wasn't talking about it or faking like she wasn't, that she wasn't being authentic. And we can only do that for so long. You're gonna attract people to your business that are like you. So um, don't be afraid to be you. This is this is your platform to let everyone know that it's okay to be themselves. So um, develop that list of five things that makes you unique and that will draw people to you. And Pinterest is a great place to start to get motivation and inspiration for posts. I would, uh, Go in there and find a quote and then stick it on a picture of me so that it was personalized and people connected to me and not just some, you know, uh, stock quote that they might see floating around if they follow a lot of fitness pages. So make it you, make it your own, and, um, and have some fun with it. So uh, personal mommy, development mommy. is... Hey, babe. Mommy. Hi. Daddy. This is the life of a coach. I'm halfway through this thing. I'm not going to start it over. <laughs> so uh, personal development and your power hour are things that are really important in these early days as well. As a new coach, you're feeling overwhelmed and it's really good to remember that this is like marathon training and we have to do things that we can sustain daily. So we have to set our pace and personal development is a part of our daily schedule and we have to make the time for it. 15 minutes to fill your cup because you're going to be giving so much of yourself to other people. So um, I love to listen to Les Brown on YouTube and there are a ton of personal development books, The Slight Edge, GoPro, 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, um, Push by Shalene Johnson. Get your hands on something and just commit to 10 to 15 pages a day and you'll feel good about moving forward and filling your cup while working this business and your power hour. So um, this is going to be a list that you'll get uh, in touch with that has the vital behaviors that you're going to do every day in your business. And I encourage you to get a hold of that set your business hours and stick to it. A part of this, um, this whole thing is taking care of you because this is your business and we want you to be here a year from now and to be able to commit to that and having set business hours and treating this like a business, getting that power hour to-do list done and doing your personal development is what's going to help you be here long term. Um, you know, if your power hour is five hours a day because you need this to happen fast, then so be it. But make sure you're setting those hours, treating it like a business, aligning your actions with your goals and um, making some time for you because there is a lot of this business that's gray area because it's on social media where we're used to being for fun, but it kind of changes. So we have to be really intentional in getting that time for ourselves, especially in the beginning while you're learning the business and growing your business. So know that that's okay. It's okay to take time with your family or go for walks or whatever you want to do. And it's encouraged because we want you here long term. Um, believing in yourself. So I remember being a new coach and I would follow leaders in this business and I did think that I could do it and you have to know that you can do it. Um, they're no different from us. The only difference really is the amount of time they've been in this business. So if you commit to being here for the long run, know that those people are showing you that there's room and space for you to be there. Um, I've only been a coach for a little under a year and I've always believed and I believe in this team that we all have the potential to make this business whatever we want it to be. So um, just know leaders are just like you. Um, you're only, you know, a few months behind and it'll happen if you keep making it happen daily. So first big action step as you're going through this is also going to be to talk about challenge groups. You may or may not have been in one yet, but they are the driving force of this business. I have a lot of my new coaches run their first 30-day group with me, but the first thing that will help you warm up your market and um, get an idea of who in your market is ready to get healthy and fit is to run a free clean eating group. So we have templates for these in the file sections of our team group. Um, they're amazing. They help you build relationships, show your skills. They show people what challenge groups actually look like. And they're really fun. You help people get healthy and you're, you're giving for nothing. And that in this business is magic. Um, people see that you're in this and you care. And it just attracts more people to you when you do things like that.
Um, so pair up with another new coach on our team um, to run these clean eating groups. Like I said, there are literally templates for the whole group in our file sections with shopping lists and menus. So it doesn't have to be scary. This is a great way for you to lead your first group and invite people then to, to be in your 30 day challenge group, which we will set a date for within your first 30 days as a coach, you should have a group going um, either with your upline coach or solo. It just depends on your comfort level. Um, but the, the free day group is really going to help you um, warm up to the idea of running your 30 day group and make you feel comfortable in that setting as a leader um, because you are, and it really helps you start your business strong. I run those monthly because it just is a great place for people to feel like you're giving um, because you are, <laughs> and they're simple. So, um, setting those dates for both of those challenge groups is going to be something that we're, we want to happen now. Um, because momentum is so huge in this business. Uh, whatever the pace you set, you know, it can be that you want this to be part-time. It can be full-time. Um, but this business really thrives on momentum, starting strong, building loyal uh, relationships with people that turn into referrals and turn into, you know, new markets and new networks. So um, it's important that we start strong and it's going to be a little scary and uncomfortable, but you have our entire team and myself to help you run those groups, set the goals and really get a game plan going for you. So I hope that this helps a little bit and helps you find some direction in what to do in these first early days as a coach. Um, I know that it's a lot. We've all been there, so don't hesitate to ask questions. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question because we've all had them. It's just that we found the answers after asking or finding it 10 times and now we understand. So utilize our team. That's your new little family. This can be whatever you want it to be, seriously. I'm gonna make you, or our team is gonna make you set scary goals. Um, we don't take little goals, because here we are in the business of helping people, and um, what you do in this business and your success will be a direct reflection of the amount of people you're helping. So welcome to our team, Team 11 Well. We're so excited you're here and starting this journey with us, and that you chose us. Um, this is your little family, so enjoy and welcome. <laughs>